Can I move I'm on. told the secret passage they used was sealed off centuries ago. Yes. The palace floor plans failed to even show it. I'm shocked the church knew of its existence. In the age of Saros, the Empire and Church were intimately related. It's safe to assume the Central Church took pains to retain its information from the time. I shudder to think what other inconvenient secrets they might be privy to. Yes, inconvenient. Yes. Well, based on the scale of the attack, they must have seen this as their first and only chance. Ah, oh, there you are. They said you wanted to talk? Uh, yes. I believe I owe you an apology. Oh, yeah? What for? Yeah, what for? To be blunt, I thought you were with the enemy. I had you pegged for an informant, planted among us by those who slither in the dark. It was not an unreasonable assumption. You enter Her Majesty's life at the perfect time, allure her with your strength, and choose our house to study with. Big convenience. And oh, surprise! You have dark powers. It was all too much to dismiss as mere coincidence. It was at Hubert's suggestion that I appointed you captain of our mercenary unit. He felt this would allow us to quietly assess your abilities and allegiances, and I agreed. I know I told you I did this because I believed in you and your strength, but the decision was somewhat more nuanced than that. Really? Tell me I'm more. I'm sorry. The moment I got wind of this attack, I immediately thought of you. That's her fault, Hubert. This is it, I thought. The traitor has sprung the trap. And now the Emperor's life is in danger. But instead, you thwarted the assassination attempt and kept Her Majesty safe. I was wrong about you. Deeply so. And for that, I am ashamed beyond measure. Pray forgive me. I'll try, Hubert. I'll accept your apology. Don't worry about it. I would have done the same. Honestly, I thought it was weird how quick you both trusted me. Good to finally know the reason behind it all. Yes, good job. That does not excuse our actions. We had no right to deceive you as we did. Yeah, but you did. But I swear, we will make amends. You have but to let us know how. You can start by trusting me. Yeah, that needs to happen. Or if that's not in the cards, have the decency to tell me you don't to my face. Yep. That seems awesome. At least then I'll know where I stand. I doubt doing so would have changed anything. But I understand the sentiment. Yes. Well, we will attempt to be better going forward. Going forward. Be better? Really? You need to be better. Hubert, why not just promise to be more forthright? Yeah, be more forthright. Because that might make me a liar. Sorry, this might be a great thumbnail shot, so I want to use Let it. Let me speak plain. I no longer believe you to be working with the enemy. However, that does not necessarily mean the possibility is now non-existent. <sighs> I guess I did ask for honesty. But look, do you guys trust me or not? Of course we trust you. Or I do, at least. So please... Let us begin this relationship anew on solid ground. Hmm. What do you think, Naruto? We're just like, hmm. It is now 1182. The great war Edelgard instigated has swept across Fodland and looks more grim with each passing day. The Empire struggles to hold Aryan Road to the west and the Great Bridge to the east. The kingdom cannot bring Western lands to heal. Even the Alliance must face changing times. The Central Church sends the Knights of Saros to the Imperial capital to assassinate the Emperor, but fails. Roughly half a year passes before the tides show any true sign of shifting. Okay, we're going to say this is the chapter where shit happens.
Scarlet Blaze. Shifting history. Five months have passed since the attack on the Emperor, and 1182 nears a close. Though each army schemes, the battle maps barely change. But now, history is about to resume its course. Okay, well said. Today is a momentous day in Fodland's history that people will mark for generations to come. And then why do you look so conflicted? Claude! I love you, Claude. I'm not I love conflicted, you, Claude. Claude. I'm just painfully aware of how much stronger I need to be. Yes, that's going to be our new thumbnail shot, because I love you, Claude. That's why I'm counting on you and the Alliance to make up the difference. Watch as they shake the hands, hey, and we have to use I've that as our final shot again. Down to a science, so let's say we help each other out. Yes. If we work together, we can achieve what's best for both of us, right? Indeed. I have reviewed the terms, Your Majesty. All that remains is the placement of your seals. Everything looks good to me. I'm especially glad we found a solution to the control of murder. You've done fine work here, Hubert. Thanks. And thanks to you as well, Holst. You know I'm not good at this sort of thing. I've never known you to shy away from ceremonial affairs like this. But it is the most significant pact since the founding of the Leicester Alliance, so your caution was most prudent. I must admit, mm -hmm. I was quite nervous. Thankfully, I managed not to follow it up. You surely jest. You did your work masterfully, without batting an eye. I am truly impressed that Lester's most valiant general is so well versed in diplomacy. Don't be insulting, Hubert. Sir Holst is a duke. A man can be brave in battle and still know how to get things done. Take our Minister of Military Affairs, for example. A man for whom the term looks can be deceiving was likely invented. Speaking of Count Burglies, where is he? I thought he'd be here so we could go head to head. We never did get to finish our battle. I'm oh, no, afraid the not. Count couldn't make it, but perhaps you'd consider my bodyguard instead? I'm certain you'll find the challenge to your oh, okay, fine. Um, is this your bio first pieces. time meeting, by the way? It is. Well, friend, care to go around with me? They say this Holst character is the strongest man in Leicester. But is he as strong as the Ashen Demon? Good question. I'll accept his challenge. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Now that's what I like to hear. I hope you mean later and not this very second. It would oh, be no, a shame this to get blood second. all over this nice paperwork. Yes. All eyes are on us. We must make this a grand gesture and show our soldiers that Adrestia and Lester have joined forces for a brighter future. For a brighter tomorrow. Well, a brighter future. Let's get to it. As leader of all the lords and knights who sit at the round table of the Leicester Alliance. I don't really want to be the thumbnail again. I know I'm I, like Claude Von this, Regan, hereby swear this pact. I don't want to be the thumbnail. Leicester pledges to work in harmony with the Adrestian Empire and do everything in its power to secure a peaceful future for Fodlan. By the covenant between the red blood and the white sword that crowns the double-headed eagle, I... Edelgard von Hressfeld hereby swear this pact. Adrestia pledges to work hand in hand with the Leicester Alliance to deliver peace to the land and secure a future for all its people. The pact is sealed. And now it is our job to uphold it. Goodness, look how far you've risen. You're standing on the stage of history. I know you'll do great things. Yes, and greater things still. Okay, well, sad, I guess. Right then. We've got plenty of bright Yay, new Claude. faces here at the round table today. Claudie. 
First, a brand new count ruling Gloucester. E. And Duke Goneril and Count Ordelia have decided that their heirs will sit for them. Unfortunately, Lawrence and Lysithia can't join us due to their responsibilities in the Imperial Army. I called you here to give you notice. Mm -hmm. The Leicester Alliance is assenting to the Empire's request and sending troops to the Kingdom Front. Houses Regan, Gloucester, and Daphne will be supplying most of the soldiers. And instead of the usual route through Aelel, we'll be invading Fraldarius directly by sea. I mean, if you say so, buddy. You're staying behind, right, host? Mm. Indeed I am. Almira is still an unknown quantity. And we've no idea if or when Prince Shahid might stage another attack. And the same goes for House Ordelia. They've had more than their share of troubles on their border. We agreed mm -hmm. that shipping their army away might not be the most prudent of ideas. And that's all she wrote. You'll find the details in the document you've all been given. I wish the kingdom would see there between a rock named Adrestia and a hard place named Lester and throw that white flag high, but of course they won't. Mm -mm. So good luck, everyone. I'm counting on you. Oh, thank you. Let's just put our fist in the air for no reason. And so, the Alliance has agreed to bring their troops to bear and attack the kingdom from the east. At the same time, we will resume our invasion from the west using Orion Road as a foothold. We'll subjugate the kingdom's lords one by one as we work our way toward Blaythe. News of the pact will doubtless have spread throughout the kingdom by now. Provided enough houses see the futility in fighting, we may be able to avoid unnecessary bloodshed. Maybe, but I don't know. However, that is likely wishful thinking. We should instead expect the worst and prepare accordingly. You think? Some of them already bent the knee to us once, along with Count Roe. Wouldn't they jump at a chance to swap sides again? An idea I am certain has already occurred to the king. Lately, we have been scrambling to reorganize, dealing with an attack by the Knights of Seros and negotiating a pact with Lester. Okay. During that time, the winds of purgation have swept across Fargus. In one fell swoop, the king has expunged most of the nobles likely to align with us. Yeah, it sounds like them. Still, it's us and the alliance against him, which means we've got the advantage. What's there to worry about? The concern isn't that we'll lose. It's that winning might come at the cost of too many lives. What an utterly pointless, senseless thing to do. Oh, I find it all so very draining. Whatever very draining. our intent, we're the instigators here. We can't expect the enemy to do anything less than defend their land with tooth and claw. Speak for yourself. If someone invaded my territory, I'd hand over lands and titles on a silver platter. Especially if I had no chance of winning. There is truly no other noble like you, Menard. And perhaps well, no not. person at all for that matter. Regardless, we must proceed with caution. I'm sorry to make that to happen. When people think someone is after what they possess, they respond with fear. Even if the thought is all in their head. In the eyes of the people of Fargus, there is no limit to what evils the Empire might visit upon them. My father started saying he can't sleep because he's scared the old church is coming to Garrett Mock to kill him. Your father has a right to be From afraid. the sound of my mother's letters, he's really shaken up. Remember that the kingdom has much coldness. We must not forget to be bundling up like people of the snow. Petra is always ready for what lies ahead. I wish I had better understanding of your Fodlin ways, so I could be giving more assistance to everyone. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it, Petra. With all the different factions in this thing, even we have a hard time keeping it straight. <sighs> this all must seem so backward compared to the way things were in Bridget. It was really frigid there. In any there. case, the battles ahead will be more brutal than any we have yet fought. 
Keep a vigilant eye out for both yourselves and each other. Okay. That is all. Dismissed. Dismissed. I tried to plan it well, but I didn't work. Guess things aren't going to be so easy anymore. We're under some real pressure to win. Yes, we are. So how many battles are there going to be? Quite a lot. Okay. There it is. So, what would be the best approach at that? That is the million dollar question at hand. Ooh, Ashura, yes! Emperor, ooh, 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 ooh. Um, Ilgar wants to talk to me, okay. Um, okay, I'm okay talking to Ilgar. That's great that we can upgrade our units to Ashura and Emperor, that's great. Shall we? Me at once. Come with me. Oh, it's gonna be the round table, which I, I always do like. Because you can change your battle suggestions, and it's great to have. I'm allowed to have it. Does anyone have any suggestions regarding how to prepare for battle? The majority of our tables are filled, but I, I like it nonetheless. Okay. Um. I have a proposition. But, 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 actually, kind of like theirs, Manuela and Petra's. This is the best plan of action. I'm um, grand with swords. That's great. Okay. They're happy about that. Okay. What else do you have to talk to me about, Aelgard? What do you think? We keep busy, Shez. I hope you're ready to push forward to victory. This may be a fierce battle. Is it possible we could use one of our close comrades? I would suggest treasuring some moments we have now and spending time with them while you can. Hey. I'm thinking about my friends remind me of my old mercenary band. Actually, I may have... A little something when I first came a full fledged mercenary. I might not have might not be a bad idea to give it to someone. It'll be no way of saying I'll be there for them. Okay. Um you can give them that. Um unique action ability will be overridden. Oh. Put on the special put on a special advisory and your unique action ability will be overridden. That unit will give you accessory. Okay. Only allies will have support. Okay, you can give them to merc levels. Okay. Um, I want to go to the, um, train instructor because I want to upgrade their classes to Azura. Training can be the difference between Acquire class. Um, it doesn't show right away, which is a problem. Um, to be a sword master first. Frick. Um, the problem with sword master is you only use one sword. Not my favorite class, and that's This'll a lot of ligger. getting used to. Yes, it is. Um, no, but what you want to do is you want to train that. And um, I thought I upgraded you, but I did not. Oh, that looks bulky as hell. I always strive to improve. Yes, you go, Aelgard. Um, sure. Oh, oh. Um. What does Emperor's Ploy do? Um, I'm okay with that actually. Okay, uh, Hubert, we can, can we upgrade Hubert? No, because we did. He's a dark mage. Um, Burnett. Let's see who else we can upgrade because it's always good to see. Um,. The reason we're trying to make a death knight. <laughs> I remember that. Uh, we don't have any master seals yet. Um, proper training, actually, you'll be time to work you into let's shit. see if I can level up. Um, so I'm going to try and at least get them up to level 35. I'm going to have to grind again. Except so I'm going to use some of my weaker units in today's um, side missions. Because it will help level them up. I think that's a good idea. Maybe that's just me. So it would definitely help. Hi, Ash. I'm helping with the Black Eagles first. And then I'll move on to their units. I actually kind of like using Mercedes. Um, so, yeah. Who is... Um, Shamir's actually pretty high level. I do want to have her on our next quest just to see what her gameplay is like. Strength and beauty. What a... Yes, what a pair. Now we're going to head on out. <laughs> 
proper training, you'll be unstoppable. Actually, let's do some training. Time to work you into shape. Um, what I have to do is I have to change Shez into I want to level up the Swordmaster. Okay. And Ilgard is not selected in any of these. Interesting. Ooh, I can upgrade him to a Paladin. I'll do that actually right now. Acquire class. Lorenz to a Paladin. Um, because it would actually be helpful. Because I think he makes a great Paladin. Again, I, I always make this reference. There's no Blaster Blade. For my talents. But a few things are. Yes. And then... Uh, okay, uh, where were we? Uh, train. Okay, yeah, I'm magically change it to Paladin. I want... Actually... Um, I want Aelgar there. And Hubert. Okay. I'll do successive train. It chooses them all. Um, okay. Can you up? Can't wait to see how you do. Okay, let's go to the war map. <laughs> On the shop is right there. There's actually a lot to do. So, we're going to go to... What's the low level foundation? Level 34. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have one of my stronger units just to be a safe bet. Um, to the Cavalier and other enemies. Don't let the black back alley get captured. So, you're going to be that. You're going to be our <laughs> defensive one. Because I want my other units to level up. My um, see me even though Raphael is probably not a bad choice. I watched him here because I want to see what gameplay is like because I really have no memory. He <laughs> looks weird with that hat, but I love it. Um, um, William Marianne. Okay, let's fight. Because I know that's probably not the best strategy, Hang but it helps there, grind them. Um, so I'm having your reason there everyone. defend. We gotta defend this place. Amen. Uh, hopefully Honey Badger does well. Um, the so yeah, I'm a bit nervous, but I'm gonna see what I can do. Okay, I was expecting more, but that can counter, which I kind of like. So I gotta be. I don't know. I mean, curious. This might actually be where I'm gonna start grinding so my weaker units. Um, yeah, it does give us a chance to try out some new units. Um, let me see what the recommended story chapter level is. Depending on what it is, I will choose the level I grind to. But I want them to all at least be level 35. I think to be like 38 or something. So I'll be like, oh, I'll be more prepared for. It. But then if I can do, like, these lower-end stuff, then I might be able to have more of an edge. I'll explain my grinding method in that case. Um, and so, yeah. That's just how things work. There we go. Um, I'm dragging the others down. If you say so, but I wasn't going to say Okay. Priest is dragging the back, back alley, okay? Um... Time to fight and fight and fight. That's what Honey Badger does. They fight, they fight, 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 fight. The Honey Badger and Armadillo show. Okay, that was odd, but okay. I just love Honey. Oh, Honey Badger, don't change. Okay, Marianne's very in trouble. More I can do. Yeah, if you say so, honey. I know it feels odd saying that, um, because I was watching Peacemaker. Again, they brought up the whole Sweet Peaks thing. I'm like, yeah, you're probably right about that. It's odd. Just say it. I don't know. Things just feel weird to say nowadays. Hello, Archer. I'm trying to take you down. Okay. What's with them making references to coffee? It just makes no sense to me. Let's go. Yeah, there's nothing, but okay. I could just then close to them. Um, okay, defeat the messenger within the time limit. Um, I'll have Shabir take care of him. You're not the messenger. You are. You gotta kill the messenger. 
Come on, come on. There you go. Okay. Well said. Help the Fortress Knight reach destination. Hmm. Okay. We're going to be Shamir and take care of the messenger. Because she's probably the best equipped to take care of it. Okay, if you say so. Great dodge there, Shamir. Um, I just kind of liking her. Well, we can't have Claude, unfortunately. As much as I would love to have Claude, this Claude is awesome. Uh, Shamir is a nice replacement for Claude. Ow. A lot of arrows here, but it works. Okay, the Fortress Knight died. That's sad. Okay, Raphael, you learn and you will deal with us. Okay, I thought, you know, if you feed the messenger or not. I thought you should me. I really am. Okay, I I thought it was to defeat the messenger, but okay. Retreat. Okay, Paladin sounds a lot like Yuri. Lone Thal, you know the guy who plays Spider Man. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm liking Shamir, I really am. I'm glad we were free her. Here we go, let's see what Marianne is up to. Uh, oh boy, not that much. Uh, Blizzard, just freeze. Marianne loves her horsey, so she does have a horsey in her special, which is great. Blizzard again, because it's always nice to just freeze them in place. I wish you were both frozen, but you are now both frozen, so yeah. Uh, that is going to be huge, am I right? I'm right. I'm right. There we go. Oh, come on, Marianne's going to be so close. We weren't strong and I won't lose. Uh, I'm going to take care of this last cavalier. Um, as this horse flew in the air. There we go. Take care of you. Ooh, that's all yeah. Yeah, no way I'm losing. To a bunch of Harry Potter clones. Are you kidding me? Let's sit down. Oh, good job, Raphael. See, this was the point of this. Let's level up my weaker units. Ow, take that. And give them some more showcase. You know, is the change in the guy. Okay, if you say so. There we go. Ooh, that felt good. Main Street? Oh my goodness. <laughs> That sounds like me to say. That just makes me think of the right way. I know that's a weird way for my brain to go, but that's just how my brain works. Just look how ripped my muscles are. Oh, Raph, honey badger, don't change. Yep. Indeed, it is. You took a while to get five sentence, but okay. And destroy. The mirror's in trouble, you don't say. Okay, not really what I wanted to use it, but okay. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't feel like much. Okay, let's take care of the sniper. And we can fist you, that doesn't quite sound right. Like that. Uh, that ow, ow, it does not sound encouraging at all. Oh boy, oh boy. Uh, heal. There we go, we need to be the sniper. Yeah, what's with any coffee? Yeah, but there's gonna be like a main crew that's gonna show up. Yep, defeat like the main general, you will complete mission. Yep, thought so. Defeat him to claim victory. This isn't like a super complicated mission, it's just that we're really underleveled. So yeah. 
where you use our muscles. Hey, Badger's Everybody taking the charge in this one because he is. Did you see that? General Crusher. That's a great name. And he leveled up too. Z? Great place to grind. Is that? And that, and that, and that. And that, and that. Uh, you don't really got but I'm just using my daggers to punch you. You seem surprisingly well. Which again, I'm surprised by. There we go. Garant. Weird name, but okay. As instructed. Yes, good job. I imagine um Honey Badger's gonna be MVP. Just my thought process on it. Oh so yes. Foreign tome. Okay. Yep, honey bad. Yes, honey bad leveled up. Yes. Gotta get stronger. Yeah, I'm gonna use this for grinding. Cause I think it's a great part to grind. I just have to know what the name of the section is. Good job, Mary. You mastered. That's great. We did pretty good. This is gonna be like chapter ten. So there's gonna be a story thing in here because there always is a story thing here. Thanks for the gold, but it's gonna give us a story thing. We've finished laying out where the troops will be positioned, Claude. But, uh, are you sure about this? Am I sure about what? This isn't even remotely like a standard attack formation. It's like you're going out of your way to limit casualties. Not true. The moment the enemy drops their guard, we'll swarm them like a pack of bees. And if they don't drop their guard? Then I guess we'll just sit here making angry faces at each other. <laughs> That's great, Claude. Okay, come on. This strategy is not helpful. Look, just by being here, we're drastically reducing the number of kingdom soldiers the Imperial Army has to deal with, right? Mm -hmm. Which means we don't have to kick our troops into action until the Empire has marched further north. Once they're positioned to seize Blathed territory, that's when we'll move. And if it all goes wrong, the losses could have catastrophic consequences for the future of the Alliance. I didn't mean to crash I'm my head from this. That's my fault. I'm not so worried about the big picture, Hilda. You've grown. I wasn't going to stay a kid forever, you know. Apparently not. I'm impressed. Look, Hilda, I promise you, your fears are misplaced this time. The Empire's already compensated us for any potential losses, and will continue to do so. You don't think I would have signed that fancy pact if they weren't taking care of us, right? Sure, but are they good for their word? Because I have doubts about that. I want to believe the pact will hold. I really do. But they strike me as folks who won't think twice about sticking an axe between your shoulders if the situation calls for it. Fortunately, I can be pretty ruthless myself when it suits me. If I don't like something the Empire is doing, it might even be me who ends up breaking the pact. If that's supposed to make me feel better, it is absolutely <laughs> great, not Hilda, working. That was just great. Easy, easy. I'm just throwing out a what if here. Just promise that you'll always have my back, even when things look their worst, all right? I need you. Oh, fine. But only because it's you. Aw, oh, thank you, Hilda. So actually, with that, and my the part right here... Um, oh, a report, your I didn't Majesty. expect this. That's my fault. <laughs> the Imperial Army marches on Western Fargus. Just when we brought peace back to the area, too. We should get ready to provide aid at once. Rodrigue has already been dispatched to Mateus, along with all the soldiers I can currently spare. And I've sent Annette and Gustav to the Baron's side, though if it's for better or worse, is yet to be seen. I don't doubt we'd all ride to the rescue if we could, but that's clearly not possible given the situation. Agreed. Now that Claude's joined up with the enemy, we can't risk doing anything foolish. 
If we move our soldiers even a breath away from the Northeast, the Alliance will be all over us. All we can do now is divide our forces to keep the enemy in check and meet their attacks as they come. We never should have let this happen in the first place. But who could have seen the Empire and Alliance forming such a union? Bor, are you seriously going to just stand by and watch? They'll overrun us if we don't stem the tide. Though it smacks of desperation, I'm told the Western Front has enlisted the services of Geralt's mercenaries. Ooh, that's helpful. They're the same so band that carried the battle in Madrid Way. So I hope we can make good use of them again. Is this really the plan? Burn through mercenaries while we hole up here? Do try not to be so grim. The Empire has pushed rapid reforms on the land over these last few years. Not everyone was happy to have such changes thrust upon them, and that includes their new friends in the Alliance. The Empire is leaning over the Kingdom with such greed that they might yet trip over their own feet. Do you That'd think there tricky. will be revolts? I'm certainly not going to plan my strategy around it, but there have been whispers, yes. The old ways must die. With that, I agree. But shove that down the so people's throats, and you risk breaking the very land you're trying to rule. Yes. We've grappled for years with the aftermath of trying to enact reform. Change is a painful process. But rushed change will set the region to rot from the inside out. I wonder why they're so intent on doing this the quick and dirty way. It's difficult to say. Uh, perhaps were things different, we might have found some common ground, some harmonious way forward. But I've lost too many I care about to this war. Ingrid, chief among them. <sighs> when I think about what they fought for, what they died for, there can be no turning back. Well, that's handy. So as I was saying at the end of the part right here, I'm going to use this to grind because I think it's a great spot to grind. Um, so yeah, we'll see you guys next time with more Fire Emblem Warriors 3 Hopes. Until then, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.